Well, we got a fire at flares. Watch out. Okay, my next stop is uh, Flair's house. We've got a lot of guys going. We're getting right down to the wire. And right now I'm looking at 14 cars. Luckily it hasn't rained, so we don't have any mud right now. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Again, at the finish stage, someone told me that the last 10% of the house takes the longest to finish. And I have to agree because that's when all the details come in and come together. And all it takes is for one thing to be missing, broken, or someone doesn't show up and it throws the whole schedule off. I'm gonna go see how bad it is in here. All right, I'm gonna pull up my punch list on my phone to see what has gotten done and what still needs to get done. I want you guys to see the garage floor. Those are done. They did an awesome job. Hey Dave, got any stuff missing? Yeah, uh, yeah they forgot to pick oh, out the garbage oh disposal upstairs. Just get a regular one, right? Yeah, I'll just, pick one up. When we figure out this disposal situation, we need you to go up there and want talk? a special disposal flange, I assume? What does that mean? Disposal okay. flange, do you want a black one or are you just putting oh, a regular oh, one? Oh, you mean the air switch? No, disposal for the Don't flange, me. the waste. Oh, inside the sink? In the, yeah, inside the sink. Oh, well, let's see. I guess it doesn't matter if it's black or silver. What do you have now that maybe I can make your life easy and call it good. The only thing is, is this disposal will come with like a stainless steel one. See, I think that looks fine. Black, black, that's good. Stainless steel would work just fine in there. I don't think we need you just it. use a regular one that comes yeah, with it? Yeah, I think so. It's not that big a deal. It's not the primary. That Got works. the hood in. What if that works? The tall, the guy that put it in was tall, so he hits his head on it. <laughs> I do, I clear it just fine, Stephen. Yeah, hey, I like too. your hat, by the way. You like that? Like, like Stephen's hat, man? <laughs> yeah, all right. If you need more, you know where to come get them. So the plumbers are finishing up up here. It looks like a mess. I think the painters, they have finished as well. So now over the weekend, tomorrow was supposed to be the move-in date. I don't think we're gonna make that because Andrew slowly moves stuff into the garage, which you've seen, but there's a few pieces that are missing. I'll check my phone. I just wanna make sure this house is done. And that's what Andrew and Macy said. They don't want people coming and going. So if they give me an extra week or two, We'll gladly take it and try to get this house all done with a no punch. That's the goal. We don't want anything left on the schedule to do if we can help it. Sometimes it's just because of shipping and delivery. That's a problem. But if somebody can get it done, we're going to do that. So let's go downstairs. Oh, man, it's the hill. Holy sh Okay, it's it's moving. All right, we got to get son of a All right, we better. I don't have any water. Well, we got a fire at flares. Jeez, can't even dial 911. I'm a little bit of, bit of a panic, so it's gotten out of hand. Uh, we have a, a burn pile that got out of hand and it's starting to go across a hill at... Uh, and we don't have any water on site. We just, uh, we need a water fire truck. Looks like it's starting to burn itself out, but it's got a lot of dry grass heading its way. Not a problem yet, but it could be. Anyway, yeah, we could use a little help. Fire department will be now. Oh, very good. Okay, we'll take them. Thank you. All right, well, it looks like it kind of burned itself out, but I don't know what that tractor can do. I think he was supposed to be watching it. Blair's calling me. Is it pretty bad? No, it's starting to go out now. It started hitting the hill. It looked pretty bad. And then it keeps starting. I might go there with a shovel or something and try to... I was going to say that your, your bobcat, I mean, I don't want you to obviously put it in the fire, but people build fire breaks with those. I don't know if it's a big, steep hill. But make a break with the dirt or that mini excavator's there, the Argo's there. I mean, okay. Take a no, it's, it's just hitting the hill. Grass. You're only burning the hill. It's a long ways from your barn, and they'll be here in a few minutes. But let, I'll uh, I'll go over there and see if I can find some shovels. But it's it's like a brush fire now. So I think it'll be right, fine. You know. You'll be fine. I'll, I'll send you, you a picture. Like... I got to find a shovel. You wouldn't happen to have one in your truck, do you? Yeah. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Here, you want to take this? Watch out. See if I can. There it goes. Well, that cord's going to go. Not worth saving, but I'm see if I can get some. See if I can kill it with this. Hot. Woo. It's a problem it's so dry. Yeah, and the wind's supposed to get worse. Let me keep going down here. See if I can stay ahead of it. It's so hot. This isn't the right stuff.
<laughs> Can you unplug me by the driveway? There's some cords right up here by the... Okay. Seems to be doing the job. This is a lot of it. Here comes the fire department. Here comes the cavalry. Hope they got water. Is there one down there too? We got a windy day. I think what happened, this was burning a couple days ago and it must have sparked up again. There was a little pile that was smoldering and all it took was a little spark and got it going again. So we got the guy that's putting up the fence, helping with this tractor. fire dust burn on my forehead jeez i was in the heat of the moment and the heat of the flames holy cow can you believe that just happened we had to call the fire department put the fire out we have no water here so they had to bring the water trucks i had no idea what was even going on over there so what a warm welcome to the neighborhood okay so now back to our regularly scheduled program sorry for the interruption let's go check out the inside of flair's house Flair has started moving in. I should have gave him a little heads up to put all the stuff in the middle of the garage versus against the garage wall because now we cannot paint the garage walls, but we got bigger battles than that. Let's go inside, check out, and see what all the 15 cars are doing inside. We're putting the fireplace back together. We had some air pockets and holes. I guess you got those filled in, but one up there, I don't think there's anything that's better. Well, I'll just stuff some insulation. So have you been outside yet? Then the outside one? Yeah, I saw it's uh... oh. No, this is only a scratch code. Oh, a scratch code. Okay, so we're doing the inside first. So I think it's just this one on the outside. Very good. Okay, thank you for that. Looks looks nice. Appreciate you putting down the cardboard. All right, Migo. Thank you. Oh, this is so sticky and tricky. <laughs> he sticks to it so ah. I gotta start over. Now the trick is to not to cut it too tight, otherwise it sticks to itself, and then I have to spend an hour unsticking it. There we go. So there, put that back so I don't poke my eye out. You wanna help me? Here's how you can start on that end, kind of tricky. And what I do is we come out about three or four feet, and then you, you lay it down, and I'll pull it out. Here we just go. You kind of have the tough end, so let me. Yeah, so if you kind of then stand, yeah, no, you can go down. If you stand on it, that would help. Oh, okay. Now you got to kind of tuck it all the way in there nice and tight, just like that. Then step down again. Perfect. This is a two-man job. So we're supposed to be done tomorrow. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Andrew gave me the green light to take as little longer as we need. So what we're going to have to do, what you're seeing here is we got the oven that has to go upstairs. <clears throat> Excuse me. His oven for his man cave. We couldn't get it upstairs because they're finishing the floors the other day. We have this saw set up for doing all the little trim pieces around. So the big guy, Eric, called and said, can he come back tomorrow or Saturday? So I gave him the okay on that. So our painters are here finishing up carpet downstairs. This is a big house. It takes a lot longer than what you think. But I would be confident to say I'm probably a week behind. I'm gonna have this thing all done, mark my words, next Friday. So if Flair needs more time, I don't, I'm not gonna take it. I wanna be done and I think we can make it happen. So let's see if I can pull it off. What is Flair doing now? I came to find the shovel that, to put the fire out and he's got uh, buildings being delivered. Did that come from your property? Did you just buy that? No, I came from the property. You want the chickens here? Come, are in there. Come oh, they're seriously in there, the chickens? Oh my gosh, wow, what a, what a fun neighbor. Look, Look at them all. Eggs back there. Oh my, they just had a road trip. They don't know what county they're in now. Yeah. It smells like a chicken coop, <laughs> it don't does. it? He's laying in the corner right now. You want some fresh well, eggs? Yeah, well, well not yet, but why? 
Why are you in the corner? They when shouldn't she's... be doing that. Oh, no. she's a little confused. Yeah, the road trip threw her yeah, off. Threw her off. She started plopping out in the corner. She don't know what day of the week it Wait, is. Wait, she laid all those eggs? Well, on, I don't know. On the... No, it's probably multiple chickens. But you, you got to take them out of there. And... Oh my God, that's so funny. What do you got in that shed? You got like a camel no, in there? Nothing's in there. That's bacon. Oh, that's bacon. Yeah, that's bacon. So these, this has to get down there. Yep. I'm I don't want to uh, shut he, it. He's, look at, he's got that. What's he gonna do with that thing? That's how he offloads this. Yeah. yeah it's made for this. Wow. That's what this guy does. It's just oh, so he building. so he's gonna take it down there? Yeah. Will he go through the, the mud? I don't know. Look at that. Uh, what a contraption. So that's how you move houses. I'll grab the shovel. Yeah, you get the it shovel. Make me look like I'm yeah, doing yeah, do, do some Ainsley. Ainsley's here to help me. Oh heck Have, no. Yes, you are. You've been great. Ainsley is my camera guy's girlfriend. Is that right? No, that's not true. I can't take you seriously. No, I, <laughs> why not? I'm, I'm a very serious guy. I want to see you drive this, Ainsley. Step right on here. I don't even know where do you, where do you does he stand? He stands right here. So I this is quite there. the rig. Yeah. So where do you where are you gonna pull from the middle or the end? The backside. I want to stick around and watch this. Flair has made at the bottom of the hill, which is literally my backyard, where he's putting all his wild animals. Ainsley, do you know what that is? That's not dirt. <laughs> it's dirt. Oh. All right. So here we go. We need this for that. Well, the deer blind already has wheels. So now the turkeys are at a little bit of a slant. Your poor, your poor animals are going, now Now what's Flair doing? They're all dizzy, laying eggs upside down. Get up, drag it down. Oh, he goes around the back. All right, we're at our next stop. I'm at the house for my, my house that I'm building. We've got plumbers in here. We have the heating and air guys in here. And I got to meet the water guy because we're on well water and we don't want to have all this nasty water going through the house. So he's testing the water, which should happen here pretty soon. And we're going to talk about how the plumbers need to plumb the house. We want clean water throughout the entire house. And I don't, that's my wife's department, but I'm going to see what kind of questions he has for me. And I'll take you through and show you how far we've gotten in the last couple of weeks. The garage floor is poured. All the windows are in. The front deck's been waterproof. So let's take a look. I got another good deal on a fireplace. I keep buying windows, fireplaces. So my uh, guy putting in my power has this heater later. It's a real wood burn fireplace so now i gotta figure out what to do with that but i got a good deal on it didn't mean to keep you waiting no that's all right what we what i want to do is <clears throat> i guess we make sure you talk to the plumber the plumbers, yeah. oh so there you know what we need to do yep yep and oh. having that space in that closet it's gonna work perfect oh good so okay. they're gonna stub out right where i need it and everything will be right in there okay one thing we need to figure out do you want me to run the ro lines or have them run the ro lines uh really doesn't it, matter to doesn't me matter. okay i might right. does sister well, let me ask them if they have time yeah let's go see yep. if they've got time they said it wasn't a Big, big, big deal for them. Okay. Yeah. How's the plumbers? Good. Will you guys have time to do the RO lines or do you want, how do you prefer to yeah, do it? Yeah, we're talking to him. It's, either way, we can get them in. You got, okay, if you have time. Well, well, if, you day, if not, you let me know. Okay, you know, yeah, all right. We'll want to wait till they're done if, if that's the case, you know. Dave, if we do. okay and we'll stub it out that area like you were yep, saying. Yep, right down there. Hey, all right, a lot. thank you. All right, good deal. So we got the water thing figured out. Got to have clean water. Got to have soft water. And now, my storage I thought was under the deck, under the steps, is now gonna be additional. It's gonna be storage for the soft water. I got plenty of garage space to store stuff in, but my furnace room was too small, and now we're making it twice the size. How's the HVAC guys doing? Doing pretty good is so this, far. Did you, did, uh, when it says potential spam, I'm guessing that's what it is. Did uh, we talk about my uh, trash chute? Did, I did talk about, to Lowell about that. About that one there, okay. Stuff covering the second phase. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm hoping. Then the, it should land right about in here. So if I set my trash can right here, hopefully it'll just dump right into it. Right. right that's the goal. I didn't want you not to forget about it, but you're going to yeah. run ductwork down here, right? Yep, so I got ductwork All the way down. down. Do I need to, down. can I leave it exposed or uh, do you want me to frame it all in? If you exp that would be a better question for Lowell. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't just, know. I was wondering if, if. I don't know what the county, if they Yeah, what the restrictions. Oh, I'll ask Lowell and see, because if I can leave it exposed, I don't mind the look of it, but then right. I'm wondering if it has to be insulated. I'm sure all that stuff. So, right. all right, I'll ask him. I, I believe it would have to be insulated if okay. this isn't going to be a conditioned area. Yeah, yeah. It will be heated, but not uh, air conditioned. But 
All right, let me let me give him a. Is he over at the other house? Do you know? I'm not sure where he's at. Today. Okay. I think he's somewhere in Omaha. Is he? All right. Oh, right. I'll track him down. Okay. So we have to do a well test. They have to test the water so that they know what kind of system to put in the house. I understand this water is not that great out here, and it has there's a chemical or something that's in it that makes it smell like rotten eggs. They said it. You can still drink it. It just smells funny. But I'd have a hard time drinking something that smells like rotten eggs. But we're gonna fix it so that doesn't happen. So this is the downstairs apartment. This is the living Living room, we got the big sliding glass door in. Remember, those are the ones I keep buying on sale. Even though it's supposed to be black, I was told by my painter, we have a black window over here and a white window there. That's not good. The white, I was told, can be painted black. So I went ahead and bought it to save a bunch of money. And behind here is the bedroom, which is a nice size, 12 by 12. Works out perfect, it's got an egress window. And then the huge closet, which is actually underneath the front stoop. That's total concrete, where Flair has a gun safe, that doubles as a closet. It could be a gun vault, but I have one over there. Plumbers have been working here for about, I don't know, five days. The HVAC guys are going, so the order is plumbers, and the heating and air guys come in, and after them, then the electrician, which I'm meeting next week. I'm trying to keep this thing one after another so there's no downtime, because I'm excited about moving out here as soon as possible. Okay, I just got word. I've been trying to reuse stuff in my house because I'm trying to save money. And for some reason, it doesn't work out for me like it does for everybody else. So I took this big fireplace out of one of our remodels. It's a wood burning fireplace. The thing is expensive. It would work fine. But when we moved it, it was so heavy that we took the insides out. It's like a brick panel. And then we put them in my warehouse. You see my warehouse looks like a bottom of a lady's purse. Well. When we decided to clean the warehouse out, I hired some guys to do it. They threw everything out that wasn't attached to the walls and it happened to be the insides of this fireplace. So I now have to buy a brand new fireplace. So what I thought was gonna cost me maybe 1,500, 2,000 for new fireplace chew, flu, I gotta spend $8,000 on a brand new fireplace. So much for the budget, but it will look nice. I was hoping for a real wood burning. I gave up on that. It's gonna be a direct vent fireplace. If I wanna burn wood here, we'll just go outside, make a fire pit and call it good. So that's the way uh, it sometimes goes. So if you save stuff, make sure you keep it all together. My lesson has been learned. That was a probably a $7,000 mistake. If I knew it'd be this crazy having Flair as a neighbor, I might wanna reconsider buying so close to him. I should have bought a couple miles down the road. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your comments. Reach out to me. And as always, I'll see you guys at the next job site. Hi, I'm Brad the Builder. Today I'm here to ask for your help. We have a member of the Brad the Builder family, Colin Doyle. He is in a wheelchair. He's also a ex-Marine that has toured in Iraq and has two Purple Hearts. He is currently in the hospital, has been in and out of the hospital for the last several years. And what I've learned is Colin is in desperate need of a barrier-free, handicap accessible bathroom and also some parts of his home as well. So I'm here to ask for your help. I want to raise $20,000 so that we can go down and I have a contractor that I've been working with that will come in and help us get the labor, do the demo, but we have to raise this money to buy the expensive materials that it takes to put this together. I've done several of these in my market and the bad part is these handicap accessible items are extremely expensive. And that's why it's hard to really see them in homes, but we're gonna make this happen with your help so that Colin Doyle can come home from the hospital and spend less time in the hospital and more time with his family. I also have a friend, Theo, down in Little Rock, Arkansas, is extremely talented. I wanna show you what he is going to do for Colin by building these beautiful cutting boards. Welcome to my shop. It's a nice chilly day in Arkansas. This is where I do most of my woodworking. Brad and I are working on a project together. We're gonna to try to uh, raise some money to, to help some disabled veterans out. My part of it is I'm using all this scrap lumber to see if I can build some cutting boards and some other things. And you can see around in my shop, I'm kind of in the process of quite a few things. Here's an example of one that I'm working on. This is actually a, you know, a lot of people do these projects and they end up throwing this wood away. But I mean, some of this wood is actually pretty impressive. This is a zebra wood. This is wingy. I have it all clamped up right now. You cut it down and you know, this is obviously the early stages, but once I get it cleaned up, this, this board is gonna be spectacular. As you can see, those are some beautiful cutting boards. Theo has actually sent one up to me. There's only a limited supply. We have 30 of these cutting boards that are gonna be made available free to you with a donation on my website. If that's uh, too much money, you can just donate cash to help with the funds, or I have hats and I have shirts that anytime you buy those on my website, 100% of all these funds are going towards 
Colin's cause. I'm confident that we can make this happen. And with your help, we can change Colin's life. So please donate now. I'm Brad the Builder. And as always, I'll see you guys at the next job site.